minsan it also requires a lot of time it also requires a lot of yes. work also kasi if it was so easy to get then baka that thing that you actually accomplished wasn't that worth it after all kasi kung sobrang dali yes let the person learn maybe you know the enablement was wrong you there was no hands on during the training and with you fixing that issue the person will never learn he'll still commit the same mistake so you know revisit the your enablement plan and make them do hands on Oh, hey guys, we're in for another treat again. Uh, this time, we are interviewing the general manager of SAP Consulting Philippines, uh, one of the pillars of SAP in the Philippines already. Super. Ako, you know, if you know anyone in IT consulting, sobrang sikat siya. And she'll share her wisdom, her success that while we are in this lockdown, you use this time also to grow your skills. And that's what you can get from her her wisdom, her acumen, her intellect. And when I was also employed, when I was in HP, sobrang, sobrang galing na niya nung time ngay- na yun. And ngayon pa rin, lalong mas magaling pa. Oh. Without much ado, Ella Mangubat. Hey everyone, good to meet you. E meet you, so let's get used to this, you know, digital connect. So yeah, we're, I'm from IT, so this is norm for us. So, Paano ba maging general manager? Paano ba maging on top of the ranks? No? What's your secret sauce? How did you do it? So I've always been a proponent of continuous learning. So even up to now at general manager, I still learn. Actually, I'm, just, I'm still reading every night. I'm a proponent of being constantly curious. You know, I, I learned from bottom, really work my way up, uh, build my technical skills. And believe me, you need technical skills. You need to have strong foundation mm. for you to grow. So it's just like um, building a house, right? The, the foundation has to be solid. And then, you know, you, you build on that. There's nothing that should stop you from learning. So How that's my secret. Been in the IT industry already, uh, total? Going 20 years. I'm now going to be 20 years. Now my age is so obvious. Though I started late, guys. I, early. <laughs> now, 20 years this April 17. Okay. See, I still remember. Yeah. Here's my question on top of that. From the time you started, when did you hit parang an executive level? Because the, the reason why I'm asking that is a lot of people, they get frustrated if they don't get what they want early on. From the time you started to executive, how long? And then when you were starting out, was it hard? Ba, nahirapan ka rin ba nun? There are really um, factors outside your control. But that should not stop you from constantly um, you know, growing, not just in... Um, in, in the level, but you know, growing um, personally, continuous learning, because the, the position will come. Actually, for me, it took me some time to be at a sort of manager. I, I could choose the easy way of you know getting, because um, being manager, uh, being a manager could uh, would be sometimes a numbers game. So if you manage a, a bigger team or a bigger um, cost uh, budget, then you become a manager. But I decided, you know, I I wanna um, strengthen my um, my skills first, technical skills. So I took on a lot of teams that are that are outside my comfort zone. Did ERP, did infrastructure, did the um, backup and um, restore team. So really went um, horizontal first. I think it took me around eight years, actually almost ten times before you know I really become. And I could feel that um, I became an effective manager because I I know what my people are doing. So don't rush. I mean, it will come. Basically, you know, I'm still a believer that um, if you do good, um, your good work will be recognized. For for example, you would give career advice to people uh, regardless of their industry. What do you suggest for them to climb up? They slug it out in one company or would it be better that they move around to gain experience, get different cultures? What's a route to climb up the ladder? There's no exact science, but um, I feel that if you stop growing, and that's when you look for challenges outside. For sure, if you're a valuable resource from of the company, they will find means to keep you um, growing as a career person. So don't just leave because of your salary. Uh, you know, because salary money, you could always ga- gain that anywhere. Uh, any company can actually offer higher salary. That's no problem. But if it is, you know, a, a bigger challenge, it brings you closer to your goal. It makes you grow as a person. Then go for it. So that's the only. That should be the the right reason that will make you move but um, otherwise if you get get that growth in your current company then stay 
stay with them first. My advice is move for the right reason. So if the role is good and provides you a um, learning opportunity, then go for it. Don't pick the salary as the only reason because um, you will never find the fulfillment there. You've seen so many people under you. What's your advice for people naman na nagmamadali naman sila masyado? And ako, ako, aamin ako dito. I was, I, 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 I was from, I was from Accenture. Then, ano pala mo? Oh, ako din. One, 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 As a one, shape. One and a half years ako nun. Tapos, may, may, may nakita akong ano, may nakita akong application. I think it was for Ayala. Uh, parang IT, ano nila? Manager. So, so nag-apply ako. Tapos, during the interview, sabi nung hiring manager, yung manager na nandun, yan, mahirap sa mga bata. Kaya masyado kayo nagmamadali. Uh, ano ka muna, trabaho, mag- get more experience muna. Pero, yun lang. Kasi, I, I guess, there's one trait that, if there's one trait that I know I have is, makapal ako eh. Makapal mukha ako. Okay lang sa akin to fail. But, from that failure, I'll, I'll get something off of it. Parang inisip ko nun, eh kung ma-hire ako, saan ka makita ng 23 years old manager ka agad? Parang, parang ganun. But what's your comment for people na ganun, na nag, nagmamadali din sila? And you, you know it already na what, what, the raw pa, the skills are not yet there. Manager should not be your end goal actually. Mm. Well, it's just a position. You should not be working for a position. You should work towards uh, passionate about what, what really would make you feel fulfilled of your work of your of your job and then you you a lot the steps from there as long as you learn something new don't rush yeah it's a it's a marathon well you know you get, it's a mar- it's a, it's at a sprint and that's what people fail to see no that to achieve something great also means and it also requires a lot of time it also requires a lot of yes. work also because if it was so easy to get then baka that thing that you actually accomplished wasn't that worth it after all kasi kung sobrang dali yes uh, hindi rin it's a fulfilling you've been working for 20 years and majority pa rin of Filipinos naman as much as we want Filipinos to be entrepreneurs investors majority are employed what's your technique while you're employed paano makaipon ng pera how do you save how do you ano na parang common tendency is sa Pilipino pag pag lumalaki sweldo tumataas yung gastos kagad and then they end up working 15 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, wala rin silang natatabi. I don't have a credit card. Whoa! Yes! <laughs> I have, I am just the extension of my husband. <laughs> 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 yes, see? That's my secret because you know girls right now. But seriously, that's my secret. It sounds um, um, old-fashioned. I still maintain an Excel spreadsheet. I still keep track of my expenses. And then, you know, if you don't need them, don't buy. Anyway, I think you have to prioritize your expenses, right? So, I do splurge if it's for the family. Then the rest, um, I still keep the, the lifestyle as before. So, so, But eventually, though, I, I plan to invest in some of the business that I think I, I believe in. But um, not really maybe do it. Um, as a sole proprietorship, maybe just you know on a on a partnership level, but not as a sole proprietorship. I don't think I have that appetite yet. Invest early, and and that's a trait that's not talked about as much. No, people always want that. When I have money, I'll invest it para kumita ng malaki. But savings are so important. Lalo na now when when there's a lot of uncertainty, it's savings that will give you some sort of a buffer to weather. Weather times like this also, uh, and gal- galeng. I, I, I didn't I didn't know that ah, credit card. Pero mas nakatakot yata yun eh, extension extension ng husband. So man, pag napanood ito ng wife ko, kaka mas nakakabab para sa akin ni. Eh. Oh, uh, so I know. Kaya nga na pag ano when I buy something big, they have to call pa my husband kasi parang he the, the bank will have to call. May binibili yung extension card parang mm-hmm. hassle to. <laughs> yeah, no credit card. If you can live with that, it's actually good. Was there ever a mistake, a failure that happened while you were working that nung na, na, na pagdaan namin feeling mo it will be the end of you and then it somehow you got something from it and you were able to pivot and you saw it looking back. Without that failure, wala ako kung nasan ako ngayon. So much mistakes along the way. In fact, one of my, um, on my second week, uh, I deleted, you know, the file system, the, the when you do Unix, all the SAP data, we deleted the, the data there. Um, yeah. And I was just on my second week. I really thought I would get fired. Just be upfront, declare it 
immediately and put a put an action plan on how to um, recover from that and just be just work through the recovery plan actually recovery plan i mean that's what the company will tell you like you know, how can you recover you, of course like, you know, even with a technical problem if you've deleted the the data how can you restore from backup if you made a wrong call in the business to to do this um, price strategy and you know you lost money a lot just recover what's the recovery plan to um, to get that money back fix the mess and then don't commit it again i guess if there's one thing that i'll take from what you said you always take responsibility for it and then you find the necessary steps it. the actions to be able to fix it also Ngayon, as a as a leader as a person who's on top what do you do naman when it's people below you they make mistakes naman or they keep making the same mistakes or how do you do it? The, the, the common tendency also of some people is if that person is not doing well, yung nagiging mali nila is ginagawa, ako na lang gagawa niyan para mas, mas mabilis also. Pero essentially, you don't get to leverage naman. Uh, leaders are there, they know how to leverage. And this is my take on it. Eh. There's a reason why the person is a CEO. There's a reason why someone is a supervisor. Pero the problem there is the CEO will always be better than the supervisor in terms of skill. So my point is it's better to have 10 supervisors na 7 lang yung skill nila versus just one of you na 10 yung skill mo. Uh, 10 supervisors with a level of 7 can do more than one person with a level of 10. I always look why and adjust from there. Like, why is that person committing the same mistake? Unless, you know, he really cannot do the job. So, if it's a repetitive mistake, then, you know, look at those, um, what is causing that uh, for him to commit that mistake repeatedly. It might be the the process, so we have to fix the the process that leads that leads into him committing that mistake. You thought you're just fixing this person and you replace that person, but otherwise the process is really broken. So there might be other pockets in the organizations that are also committing the same mistakes because of a bad process. Mm. So you always look at it um, end to end and holistically. So don't take over. Let the person learn. Maybe, you know, the enablement was wrong. You, there was no hands-on during the training. And with you fixing that issue, the person will never learn. He'll still commit the same mistake. So, you know, revisit the your enablement plan and make them do hands-on. If you would pick, may preference ka, and this could be, parang, I want I want people to see what your, what your logic is behind getting people. Someone who's really good at what they do, but masama ugali, versus someone na hindi ganun kagaling, pero okay, okay, ugali, okay sa culture ng company. Inherently, I still look for the attitude. Might be very, very good, um, you know, um, talking, um, uh, really an achiever at school, but without the um, the right attitude to slug it out, just really, you know, continuously learn. I would have a hard time ramping him up into a future leader of the organization. There's a lot of people now who are scared, they're depressed, they don't know what's gonna happen. What's your words of advice, encouragement, for them, especially that we are uh, literally walking in uncharted waters also. This crisis is different from 2008. This is also different from 1997. Uh, words of very, wisdom very, very different. From, from the amazing Ella. Learn. Use your time to uh, gain a new skill. Um, you know, it might not be technical. You know, do something. Um, learn a new language. Uh, I'm actually studying um, good governance. You know me, right? So, just continue to to grow and increase your skills because um, you will still have that uncertainty even with this virus with, without this virus you will still have a danger of um, losing your job anytime so it's up really up to you to you know to, to grow and continuously upskill yourself and then the the role the job will follow you know upskill like if you haven't taken your certifications yet a lot of those are actually online now so, uh, you know recertify your PMP your SAP basis, we're now at 1909 and S for HANA, upgrade your certification. What book impacted you the most? How Google works. Nax, nako, kalibal namin. It gave me the idea of, you know, the, the eight-member team. You know, that your team should just be big enough for you to feed them pizza and the, the flex desk, all those things that... um how the new world operates because I'm still the part of the tradition. I think I'm part of those old uh, managers that want to like, box people into uh, workload. But, you know, that somehow was the turning point. Um, you know, not really turning point, but it made me realize a lot of things um, in the IT world. 
any plans to run for public office? Nasa dugo naman na. So, I will Ako, wag aga. Congressman Ella soon. Walang sign off. Papasign off pa ako. Okay, so I guess that's it. Thank you okay. so much for being part of this vlog. Thank for you. Of you guys who are watching, if you guys have any questions, put them in the comment section. And I hope you learned something. It's nice to hear different principles from different people so that uh, you get to grab pieces of their success as well. So that's it for now. Thank you so much, Ella, for being part Thanks, of Thanks, Marvin. Hi to Evon.